Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to try TIG welding with my Miller Multimatic 220 ACDC welder. Specifically, I'm going to try aluminum TIG welding. The kit does come with, obviously, your torch, you have your pedal, and a little assortment kit with uh, a few different things. Now the welder is pretty much set up, so I just need to hook this, this, uh, the equipment up, fire up the gas, and we should be able to move right away. So the Miller kit comes obviously with your TIG torch, your pedal, a little assortment kit which has a number four, five, and six cup, different nozzles and different size electrodes. The TIG torch comes with a number seven cup already on it and I believe that's a 332nd uh, electrode but I quickly noticed that the tips are not ground down to a point so you need to have a way of grinding that down. Now you can use a bench grinder, but you need to have a dedicated grinding wheel for your tungsten, otherwise you will contaminate your tungsten and you'll get poor welds as a result. I don't have a dedicated grinding wheel, so I needed to come up with a solution. So this frame is to hold my angle grinder like that, as when combined with a diamond disc, it's to sharpen my tungsten rods for my TIG welder. Now I got the idea off of YouTube, I'll put a link to that video in the description. It is a much better build than mine, uh, but this is the first thing that I'm going to try to weld up that actually has any use. So hopefully I don't mess it up too bad. So this is the finished product. It's a very simple and inexpensive design. It cost me like $4 for the U-bolt, a little bit for the metal, which most people will have just as scrap, and $20 for the diamond disc, which you can find cheaper ones out there, particularly if you live in the United States. But I think this was a, a good alternative than buying a dedicated grinding wheel. Now, all I need to do is just run my tungsten electrode um, to the angle that I need and spin it and within a few seconds I will have a nice point. According to the instructions, if you're welding thin gauge aluminum, or I guess steel as well, uh, to use a smaller electrode. So I'm going to switch this over to the 1 16th. I don't know what the, the ideal cup is, but we'll just stick with that one for now. I'll have the electrode sticking out whatever quarter of an inch or so. The connections for the TIG welder seem simple enough. Like that. And then the foot pedal. Good. So because we're going to be welding about 16 gauge aluminum, we're obviously down here, we're going to be using 1 16th and 240 volts, 16 gauge, so it looks like we should be about 95 amps. 
setting up the welder, we're gonna go to TIG Aluminum. Let the welder do its thing. And we said we're gonna use a 1 16th tungsten. Uh, I think this is the auto. Okay, go to that. And 16 gauge, 95 amps. As far as I can, as far as I can tell, we are good to go. Like most things, good preparation is going to give you a better result. So I'll try to clean off the aluminum. You should really have a dedicated piece of steel wool or whatever you're using uh, for your product, but this is what I have. I also couldn't find any acetone, so I'll be using isopropyl alcohol. I'm also going to clean the filler rod. Let's try this path right here. I'm not too sure why I'm burning through one side so badly. Um, maybe I just have my angles wrong. I'm not really sure just yet. So obviously it's something I need to practice and I'll get back to you. So how did our first attempt at TIG welding aluminum go? Well, not so good to be honest. This was my first try right here and no matter what I was burning the edges of the material pretty much instantly. And I had the welder set to the recommendation of 95 amps as per 16 gauge aluminum and it just seemed too hot. I lowered that down to 85 amps, same kind of deal. I did some reading later and apparently a rule of thumb is one amp per one thousandth of an inch of material so this is 060 or 065 aluminum so i lowered it down to 60 amps and what a difference it made this right here is a butt weld that one is and that one is right there i was able to do it i still obviously had a little bit of burn through here but i was able to actually weld two pieces of metal together I then tried a fillet weld, and as you can see, it went disastrous. Huge blow through right here and here. It just, 
I just couldn't get it to work. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if it's a settings thing or my technique or what, but if you guys have any tips on that, please let me know. I flipped it over and decided to try welding the edge and it kind of went, it, it welded. I mean, I wouldn't say it went good, but it did seem to weld uh, something. I then moved on to eighth inch thick aluminum. Now this stuff has an anodized coating on it, which I found out that you absolutely have to get rid of that. Um, it's not just being clean, but that has to go. Not surprising. Uh, but I had trouble, even with this set to 125 amps and 330 second tungsten, I had trouble getting the two pieces to weld together. It just seemed to lay a layer of filler on and it was no strength to it. I eventually got it to, to go right here and it started off okay where I have a bit of a crown here and then the weld started to flatten out and kind of dip in. So I'm guessing I just had too much heat right here and maybe I should have let off the pedal a little bit earlier and maybe that would have fixed it. Once again, I tried a fillet weld. Terrible. Uh, this is pretty much just, you know, heated up filler. Uh, but I did again try the edge and once again, I feel like that went decently. I didn't even try cleaning it off. I just went onto it and it seemed to, uh, it seemed to bond. So I don't know, maybe I can do that. And then the last welds, once again, this was 332nd tungsten with the um, 060 aluminum and 60 amps. And, you know, I was able to, to fuse the two metals together. Uh, it's strong enough, uh, not too, not too, too bad. I did try a little bit right here to fix this corner or this edge and I ended up completely coating my tungsten tip with the filler rod and ruining that and I just decided that that was enough for today. So can a new welder TIG weld aluminum? <laughs> well, I can't, not really. Uh, I think I have a long, long way to go and uh, I have huge respect for those guys out there that, uh, or should guys or girls, that can weld just pick up you know, a TIG welder and it brrr, stack dimes like it's second nature to them. So I think I have a lot of practice to go. Um, I think I will practice a little bit more before I actually try to weld something that I'm going to use. If you guys have any tips or comments, please leave them in the comments. And if you like the video, subscribe, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.